Hello and everyone, good morning. I hope I am audible, visible, and the streaming is fine. Let's let me check for a second. Just give me a second. Mm. Yeah, I hope it is okay. So, hello and welcome. I hope I am audible. Yeah, okay, right. So, welcome all to this uh, anatomy recall. I am Dr. Anket uh, and uh, we are discussing this uh, NEAT PG anatomy recall 2023. Uh, let's do some recalls, right. I hope the exams went well. And the main purpose of this recall is uh, not for the students who have already gave the exam because now you can't do much because already exam is over. Uh, I hope uh, most of the answers were correct and uh, you get what you deserve. But these recall, the recalls and these are basically beneficial for the future students, for the for your juniors who are going to give the exams in the next year or the next few years because these are the important topics and important options. So you recall mainly unki liye zara zaruri hai jo ki aage exam dene wale hain, right? Because uh, these are the topics, these topics hain aur yehi options hain which are going to be asked in future exams, be it uh, next NEET, INICT or any other FMG, any other exam. So ye baat humein samajh nahi hai, theek hai? Let us recall karte Let us do some recalls first. Identify the arrow marked structure. Uh, see, there's a yellow arrow going towards over here, and it's an endoscopy image for the nasopharynx. And this, see, these are all recalls. I hope you guys are also aware. But yeah, mainly the answer over here is the fossa of Rosenmuller. Ye bani our answer, fossa of Rosenmuller. What is fossa of Rosenmuller? It's a pharyngeal recess. ठीक है? So ध्यान से समझो. In the lateral wall of nasopharynx, so you have a eustachian tube opening. Uske baad you have this uh, what we call it a storus tuberis. It's a mucosal fold, and behind it you have that uh, fossa of Rosenmuller that is a pharyngeal recess. Now fossa of Rosenmuller has been asked today, so yaad rakhna that this topic has become very important for the future exams. Ab now you should know everything about the fossa of Rosenmuller. Ye kya hai, kahan hai, what are the relations of it? So remember, the torus tuberis lies in front of it, and lateral to it. So, bahar ki taraf, lateral to it lies the uh, tensor, uh, tensor, what you can say, tensor palatine muscle. Why? Because aage eustachian tube hai, and eustachian tube is bounded medially and laterally by levator and the tensor palatine muscle. Theek hai? So, iske laterally apne ab you have the tensor palatine muscle. Then, iske piche, behind it you have the posterior wall, iske upar you have the roof, where roof of the nasopharynx is, uh, you can imagine the sinus of morgagini, the limit between the base of the skull and the superior constrictor. So, in Point over here is that you should know everything about the force of Rosenmuller. Now, if you are going to give any future exams, simple si baat hai, right? That should be your duty. Then, you station tube, you already know tonsils, we have the adenoids, they are located post to superiorly. But in this location, this is the force of Rosenmuller, this is the torus tuberis, Aage you have the ET opening, the eustachian tube opening. This thing should be very clear. Ek aur question dekhna, jo aaya tha, the patient presented with the right side visual loss. Most commonly location of lesion. Uh, some people said that it's make image mein thi, fine. But right side visual loss is meaning by if you have the two retina over here, that is the right side, that is the left side. People are not able to see the things on the right side. Matlab, both eyes, this left half of retina is not working. That is that means that the for the left eye, the temporal retina, for the right eye, the nasal retina, they are not working. And we all know that it is all due to lesions which are distal to the optic chiasm, but contralaterally. Let us follow it. This is the left, what you say, temporal retina. Yes, I have it will go to the left side. This is the right nasal retina, it will come and it will cross. So they both are going towards the contralateral. The right visual losses they are going to contralateral uh, tract distal to the optic chiasm. So it will be the left optic tract. If that is an option, that is the correct answer. Again, uh, visual path, visual pathway, beach may could sal hi aata, then again, look, ye to evergreen topic, it's like evergreen topic, visual pathway, auditory pathway. So, ye, this, these you have to just uh, you know, go through it. It's a rudy, important. Hai so, just remember this uh, sort of question, this we discussed before the exam also. So, it's a, it's a, just a luck that it came. Chali. Uh, again, uh, from the head neck, we have, see, head neck may say, uh, you have this pathway, you have this uh, nasopharynx, now you have this uh, TMJ and the masticatory muscles. A case was present with a jaw or S was on yawning, which muscle is attached to the articular disc? Straightforward question, whenever you study a topic of uh, masticatory muscles, we have done it a lot of time. 
that the articular disc is said to be a degenerated part of the tendon. The tendon is a lateral pterygoid. Lateral pterygoid. Right? So again, uh, regardless to say, yeah, this is a must know topic, the masticatory muscles in the TMJ. Anahi chahiye, if you have not there, then uh, it will be hard to crack this question. The answer is obviously the lateral pterygoid. Simple question answer is the lateral pterygoid. Now supplied by the mandibular division of trigeminal So now, topic hai, you, you should know everything about the, you should know everything about TMJ. TMJ and all the masticatory muscles, why, where do they, where is the major, major attachment, what do they do, and uh, clinical applied. Oh, because basically clinical applied, the jaw arrest from yawning when you open the mouth and this sudden arrest, the head shifts anterior to the articular tubercle, and all that anatomical uh, relations. These are common things which you should know. So I hope that was also from a high yield topic, uh, repeated topic. Again, you all know, who has exam given or who are preparing, that this topic is coming from the last two three years. Her ex, two salga, it comes on repeated itself. The aortic arch, the pharyngeal arch, ke jo arteries, hai, the aortic arch, that is coming which aortic arch defect is responsible for this uh, defect. Now, if you look at the defect over here, it was a bilateral right side uh, vision loss. Now, what a bilateral right side vision loss? Ha, right side visual loss. Okay, yeah. Ha. Yeah, cross language, bilateral right side vision loss, huh? that will think. Because right side visual loss, my right optic nerve will perfect. So let me think, uh, please, peaceful Indian, <laughs> look good. Chali, aage chalte. Now, so defect over here, if the defect is written, then it is okay. But now, defect, pehchano, identify the defect. This is a pulmonary trunk, that is the arch of aorta. The defect is connecting these two, so defect is, is actually PDA. PDA, not in our English term PDA, the medical PDA. Right? Patent ductus arteriosus. So, patent ductus arteriosus is the so, so, problem over here is in the ductus arteriosus. And you should know the, all the derivatives of the six pharyngeal arch arteries. Clear chahiye because a couple of years back, two, three years back, question came on the on the longer course of the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. If you guys remember, I guess it was 2020. Right? So, again, the it was asked the why there is a longer course of the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. It is due to the defect. And again, the answer was the left sixth pharyngeal arch artery. Again, the answer over here is the same. The left six, so left six ho gaya answer. Am I clear? Okay. So, so this is a left six. Right six will only form the right pulmonary artery. No ductus arteriosus. The distal part of the left six will form the PA, this uh, ductus arteriosus. Proximal part, the left six side, that will again form the left pulmonary artery. Fifty-year-old patient presented uh, with the history of the, look at the age. Fifty-year-old. These, these questions you have done a lot. EDH, SDH, SAH. Intracerebral hemorrhage, mainly EDH and SDH. We have differentiated it a lot. Look at the age, history of fall, look at the history, presence of headache dizziness, history of chronic alcoholism. When there's chronic alcoholism, what happens is the brain starts to shrink. Because uh, alcohol is a CNS de uh, degenerator, we can say. Right? So brain starts to shrink, there is cortical atrophy. So there is more uh, you can say stretching of the cortical veins, the bridging cortical veins. That is also one thing. And obviously there is a fall, so there is concussion, counter concussion, concussion injury. NCCD is non contrast CT finding has been given, and here you can see the extra axial hematoma somewhat located over here. Though it might appear, see, depends on this, it depends on whether this was the image or not. That is also one very major thing. Then, 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 obviously, then uh, how much is the duration and all. So, it's maybe one week of duration. Hai. So, everything over here is uh, pointing out towards a subdural hemorrhage. If that was the option over here, subdural hematoma, you should mark over here. Again, uh, this is again a high yield topic. So, what do what to say over here, the questions normally come from this topic. Wohi aara hai. There is nothing rare. Theek hai? So, agar koi rare hai bhi, then it is just a few percentage, 2-4 percent agar rare hai, then be it. Even if it is 5 percent rare exam, 5 percent questions are rare, let it be. 200 mein se agar 5-10 questions rare hai bhi, koi baat nahi, you have 190 questions to play with. Yeah, so, that is enough. Aur dekhte hai. Follow mark dissection will develop into. So, here I guess the Ellen Toys was marked which, uh, which, uh, uh, we have been told by various students, Ellen Toys was marked. So again, embryology, basic embryology, it is not a very, what I can say, a very in-depth. We are, they are asking you some very, very in -depth. Ellen Toys was marked. We all know Ellen Toys gives rise to the urecus. Ellen Toys gives the urecus and the urecus is post-embryol, post, post, uh, post, what can say, postnatally, it develops into a median ligament. Median N. So, N hota hai, median, because it is single. Median umbilical ligament. We have done it multiple number of times ki umbilical ligament has median, medial and lateral. So median is this urecus. Medial you should know umbilical artery and lateral you should know the peritoneal fold or the inferior epigastric artery. Island toys marked hai, median umbilical ligament. Again, 
can say a repeated question right large so probably but probably when you tell probably there was a huge image of extra during my hemorrhage therefore there is not we all should know medicine man there is one plus one is never two it is clear so probably wo aisa tha aap sirf image dekh ke because aisa nahi hota na that person had a sdh immediately there will be a concave convex shadow within an hour spreading throughout and that too it will be uh, hyperdense aisa to nahi hoga the shades keep on changing it is acute acute and chronic chronic right so in medicine that is practical life to this shades keep on changing then what was the actual image this you guys only know who have given the exam if you have a very very good photogenic memory but yeah looking at the history of all it looks probably like a subdural hemorrhage theek hai na subdural hemorrhage so keep that in mind chali aage dekhte hain okay loss of sensation over lateral three and a half digits on palmar side correct option is again aap kya yahan what are they asking is the cutaneous supply of the hand on the palmar side lateral three and a half digits we all should be crystal clear ki our median nerve hai 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 yahan koi doubt nahi hona chahiye there should be no doubt it is a median nerve median nerve median nerve अब ऑप्शन है कार्बल टन सिंड्रोम है तुम्हारा गाइंस कैनाल है वी ऑल शुड बी क्लियर कि भाई गाइंस कैनाल इज फॉर विच नर्व गाइंस लाइकेश नर्व के लिए दैट इज फॉर द अलना नर्व देर वाज नॉट अ सिकल सेल इमेज चलो जी ठीक हाँ तो कोई बात नहीं बेटा इन द बिगिनिंग द एस डी इज नॉट अ सिकल सेल इमेज ये भी सुन लो इन द एक्जैक्ट बिगिनिंग एस डी इज नवर अल सेल इमेज यू हैव टू सी अदर पॉइंट वेदर इट इज क्रॉसिंग द फ्यूचर और नॉट फ्यूचर क्रॉस कर रहा है कि नहीं दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ लेंग इट इज वॉट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पेशेंट हाउ इज द पेशेंट प्रेजेंटिंग टू यू वो सारा क्वेश्चन में देखना पड़ेगा राइट सो इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ इमेज तभी कहते हैं कि पेशेंट हिस्ट्री एग्जामिनेशन आर स्टिल एंड दे विल बी मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ये क्वेश्चन एक तरह के इस बात का सबूत था चलिए कम टू दिस सो हेयर वी अगेन कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो वी नोट मीडियन अर्थ है ना ऑप्शन में कार्बल टन है गायन है वी ऑल नो कार्बल टन इज फॉर द मीडियन अर्थ गायन इज फॉर द अलन अर्थ ऑटोमेटिकली आप ये दो ऑप्शन काट दो Now we are left with carbon tunnel and dargan carbon tunnel and froment. Froment has been asked multiple times. Froment, you know, when pulling a paper and it is for testing of ulnar. Instead of doing adductor pollicis, we the patient will flex the interphalangeal joint that is FPL supplied by anterior interosseous nerve. That is uh, froment. So, ये test कर रहा है ulnar का card दो से. Dargan dargan is a modification of uh, what is it? The tunnel sign where you hold the carpal tunnel or you press the carpal tunnel in the exact midline dekho median ka naam kyun hai median was median nerve is in the mid plane of forearm to aapko ekdam beecho beech yahan dawa ke rakhna hai for around 30 40 seconds and then you will ask the patient or the patient will himself or herself tell you about the changes in the hand koi sensory change aa raha hai koi motor change aa raha hai some paresthesia ho raha hai patient himself tell that is the darkan test so obviously answer is theek hai so स्टार्ट हुए हम एनाटमी विद वॉट द नर्व इज देन लुक एट द ऑप्शन थिंग्स विल बिकम इजियर आगे चलो भाई देर वॉज अ मार्किंग विच स्टूडेंट सेट दैट वॉज ऑन द मार्किंग ऑन द डीपिंग वॉइल रिंग एंड सिंपल क्वेश्चन वेन वी स्टार्ट दैप डोमेन वी टॉक ऑफ डोमिनल वॉल एप डोमिनल वॉल में देन वी हैव ऑल द लेयर्स देन वी टॉक ऑफ इंग वॉइल कैनाल सबसे पहले ही आता है वॉट इज द एंट्री एग्जिट पॉइंट हाउ लॉन्ग इट इज द डीप इंग वॉइल रिंग इज अ डेफिशियंसी इन फेशियर ट्रांसलिस हो गया आंसर The superficial inguinal ring is a deficiency in the external oblique epigastrocnemius. It is an oblique intermuscular passage lying over the medial half of inguinal ligament. This is a, that is the definition of inguinal canal. So deep ring is a defect in fascia transversalis. So it's like it's lying deep. But khatam. So I hope you just have to recognize the deep inguinal ring and where is the location of it. So if this is inguinal ligament, this is a mid inguinal point. Here, over half an inch over, oval shaped uh, half an inch above the mid point of inguinal ligament, you have a. ओल शेड ओपनिंग दैट इज अ डीप इंग वाइल रिंग यहाँ पर यू हैव ट्राइंगुलर शेड ओपनिंग दट इज सुपरफिशियल इंग्वाइल रिंग यू कनेक्ट दैम दट इज अंगल कैनाल तो ये अगर यहाँ पर मार्किंग थी दिस इज डीप रिंग दट इज फेशियर ट्रांसफेल इज डिफेक्ट ठीक है टू मॉडो देखें सो अगेन हमें क्या पता होना चाहिए वी शुड नो दी एनॉटमी ऑफ द इंग्वाइल कैनाल परफेक्टली क्वेश्चन आज का टॉपिक इज आउट दो इट वॉज स्टिल अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नाउ इट इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द फ्यूचर एग्जाम सो यू शुड नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट इट From here, what is what is the layer which uh, the fascia transversalis gives off for the canal? It is the internal spermatic fascia. Is that right? Right. So, let's go ahead. A patient presented with the swelling near the left ear lobule and pain. Which anatomical structure is responsible for pain? So, if left, here there is swelling near the left ear lobule and pain. Is so pain means sensory near left ear lobule. So, this part of the ear, this part of the face is supplied by great auricular nerve. 
all the part of the face are sensory supplied by trigeminal except the part of the parotid region and this auricle. So here but you should know if you have done a topic of face or parotid gland or you have done um, phrase syndrome or you have studied the you know, supply of the ear lobule, topic then you know the answer has to be the great auricular nerve, the sensory supply of that area. Okay, so this question can be covered up with many topics, depends on whether you have gone through those topics or not. Okay, so great auricular will be answered over here. Okay. I hope it is clear. Other you know, auricular temporal beta, this is lying more higher up because auricular temporal nerve. Facial station. This is again, again, again. What to say about? It? Is it a hard question? It is very, very basic. This has been asked multiple times in anatomy, multiple times in ENT. Ear pain and tonsillitis. Referred pain goes to the uh, ear. Uh, ear pain and tonsillitis. Referred pain is basically going to ear. Can mother zora bache ke you ask the patient to open the mouth. Use the inflamed tonsils. The patient is referring to pain in the ear. Simple thing. Basic OPD and. Uh, so tonsillar bed, tonsillar bed has actually the nerve that is passing is the glossopharyngeal nerve. If you look at the tonsillar bed, why is the glossopharyngeal nerve lying over there? Because glossopharyngeal is sensory to the pharynx. So glossopharyngeal nerve lies near the tonsillar bed. Tonsillar bed which is formed by the superior constrictor muscle and your uh, pharyngo uh, basal fascia and buccopharyngeal fascia that is part of pharynx actually. So there the nerve that is lying is the glossopharyngeal. This glossopharyngeal nerve, it's for your tympanic branch. If tympanic matlab hi ear ho gaya na. Tympanic matlab ear ho gaya. So tympanic branch goes and supply which part of ear? The middle ear. The middle ear ki jo sensory supply that comes from the tympanic branch of glossopharyngeal. Simple si baat hai, it will go over there and uh, the referred vein is carried to the ear by the tympanic branch. Yaad rakho mesha, this tympanic branch. Uh, great auricular nerve option nahi ta, fir kya tha beta option na? Chali. Great auricular nerve option nahi tha, to kuch uske aspas kuch to hoga. But what we have gathered from the students is uh, what the great auricular nerve. Ab uh, nahi tha to fir, uh, rest of the options you can write in the comment box. If you can frame the whole question, that will be great. Okay. So, yahan par, sorry. Haan, tonsillitis mein. So, I don't think, man, my personal opinion was ki agar you have touched the basics, then 80-90% of the anatomy questions and anatomy related questions, you can easily do. So, it's a small advice for all the future uh, exam going people for any exam. If you are in IIB or any other basics, when you are revising anatomy, you look at the, all the clinical clinical pointers. The clinical boxes, clinical pointers in your notes, don't forget them. Direct question nahi aata. there is a bilateral right side visual loss, there is a locking of jaw, there is a tonsillitis. Then there is this uh, swelling near ear, so like swelling will thaw, we think of uh, surgery, but again, hai anatomy you should identify, look at the diagram. So, yeh cheez hai, and touch the basics only, look at the basics, 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 pe hi rehna hai. Don't uh, disperse your uh, vision and your knowledge here and there, stick to the basics. Focus on clear or clarity of mind, ho. these are the topics that we need to do, these are the topics that we need to touch. The images dekhni, ye clinical, we should know and be confident. Confidence rehna hai, rest you guys have already done a lot of hard work. Kya tha beta? Investing layer. Haan, to investing layer bhai, investing layer is, is a, dekho, investing layer wa option mein tha. Aga, investing layer is the outermost part of the deep sorical fascia. It is splits to enclose the parotid gland. Haan? And here you have a parotidomesetric fascia. That is the derivative of investing layer. Aga, investing layer bahar hai, it is splitting, it is covering the parotid gland. Again, that will be the reason. Because so, your nerve hai, wo wahin pa rakhi hai. Great auricular nerve is on the superficial side only. So, wo usi cover kar rahi hai. Right? So, if the investing layer was the option and not the uh, great auricular nerve, go with investing layer. Hai ki nahi? Remember, mums ko yaad rakho. Mums mein kya hota hai? Pain hota hai. Pain with same nerve and the, the stretching of the investing layer. Because yaad rakho, investing layer is a deep cervical fascia. And that is uh, very tough. So, if you stretch the deep, deep cervical fascia, deep fascia, you lead to pain. Pain kaan se aara hai? Pain nerve se aara hai. Aap fascia ko kaat do, pain nahi hoga, but if that fascia is innervated by a nerve, then the cause of the pain is the nerve. So, yaad rakho, agar fascia hi option tha, then fine fascia because nerve is lying over the fascia. Because if, if the fascia was the option, because what we gathered, I mean nerve, uh, some students told us, okay, fine fascia, fascia rakho. But again, basics. I hope you guys uh, had a great exam. Ab bhool jau exam ko, aage focus karo. And if you are giving the future exams, Focus on these topics, you should know A to Z of these topics, as simple as that. And not just these, kuch aur topics hai, anatomy is not that small. So, cover those. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, bye-bye. And uh, I wish you all the best.